Hello everybody, welcome to Me Paintings, I'm Veronica Me, and today I have got another exciting tutorial for you. I've got my old pour which I'd like to repaint with some lovely acrylic pour which I will be embellishing with interesting 3D effects. And you can see which colors I chose. I love using my Arteza pouches for my mixes. Uh, this one is, this one is, um, I would call it dark wine color and it's a mixture of this red and pearl sapphire blue then i've got some emerald green and i also added a little bit of deep yellow into this color and then i've got my turquoise light teal this one is the sapphire blue and some white. I mix my colors with pouring medium. If you've seen my previous videos, you know I make my own pouring medium from glue and water. I use PVA glue. I use 60% of PVA glue and 40% of water. That's my mixture for my pouring medium. And then I mixed 60% of pouring medium and 40% of acrylic colors. Arteza pouches are quite thick, so you don't have to use as that much colors, so that's good, you don't have to spend that much money. You can use more pouring medium for that. And the consistency is like this, like slightly whipped cream. And I will also put two drops of silicone oil, which I ordered online um in each color two drops because i would like to have some nice cells although you don't necessarily need to use silicone to have cells if you make a swipe you usually get cells even though you're not using silicone well i usually get cells some of you might not get them it depends on the brand of colors which you're using and also on the brand of pouring medium on loads of different factors so um, don't be sad if you don't get cells sometimes it's even nicer without cells okie dokie i mixed it and now i'm gonna pour my colors in my cup i always reuse my cups i let the paint dry and then i just peel it off very easily and i can re reuse my cups again and again and and again so this is my dark turquoise here we go all there because i get lots of questions about my cups yes i try to reuse them as many times as possible this is my light teal beautiful baby teal color I'm trying to mix uh, contrast colors, so light and then dark color. This is the sapphire blue, which is darker color. Mm, all in there. And then my emerald green that's done now i'm gonna put white on the top of all these blues and greens and the last color will be this mixture of blue red and a little bit of deep yellow I wanted to create some complementary colors for my blue. So let's sure. That's it. Let's try to mix it a little bit like this, very slightly. And I'm gonna put more white on the top. I want lots of light parts in my pour. So here we go. Here's my canvas, which is size 30 times 30 centimeters. 
Let's flip it. Whoops. Never mind. I'm just gonna do this <laughs> because it wasn't successful. And here we go. Ooh. <gasps> Look at these cells growing. Beautiful. I hope I'll get some nice combination of colors light colors and dark colors I'm gonna pour a little bit more white around here just to give it a better flow like this look at these beautiful cells I won't use any torch I will use my torch at the end It looks quite whimsical. I don't like this part, so I'm gonna try to move it down a little bit. Now that looks very interesting and now I'm gonna use my heat gun so this is my heat gun cheap one from Lidl it works well Great. wow look at that oh that's amazing Oh, look at all these beautiful, colorful cells. I love these. I love the contrast in them. That will be perfect for my pour, 3D pour. So I'm going to let this dry and see you soon. Welcome back. My pour is dry. And I love the softness in this pour. It turned out so amazing. Look at all these beautiful cells and colors. Just love the softness. And I would like to turn it into something even more amazing. I'd like to draw some 3D cubes. And for that I will need just pencil, ruler and this is white board marker which I bought in a local supermarket. It looks like this. I apologize, I don't have a link to this one because it was just a very cheap whiteboard marker. It was one euro. I'm sure you can get these in your local supermarket or somewhere in our shop. And the great thing is that you can actually erase that with wet baby wipe, which is quite helpful when you make a mistake, you can erase it. So I start with drawing uh, like six columns in here in the middle and then I'll show you what to do next. This is size 30 times 30 centimeters and my lines will be five centimeters long. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25 and I'll do the same thing at the bottom now in the middle of these lines I will draw half like I don't know how you call these lines but just I just make short lines in here which will be helpful for me because I will then see where should I put my lines? Now at the top you will need to draw lines here 
in there and create the top and also the bottom of your cube. Now the bottom of your cube and then you'll continue down to the bottom and if you'll be doing this it's better if you're doing this on the light pour rather than the dark one because the dark parts wouldn't be very visible so it's it's better if you use um, lighter pour just a little tip That's done and it might look a little bit complicated but once you figure figure it out you'll find out it's actually quite easy and here comes the time to fill all these nice cubes with my black marker. So now it's finished and I know it looks completely boring at the moment but I'm gonna use a little trick to make it look like it's 3D cubes and for that I'll need just the masking tape, a little bit of black color, some brushes and a little bit of water. So I start by putting this masking tape. tape here on these lines So now it's all finished and I will sh make shades in uh, every second cube like this. One, 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 one. So let's start. I'm gonna put a little bit of black on my brush and start sh shading these little cubes. And put it in the water and just make 
little shades. And you could do this all by hand, but this is a faster way with masking tape. So now time to peel this off. Well, that already starts to look quite interesting, but it's not finished yet. I have to make another row. And this time I will be shading every second cube. This one, sorry, this one, this one, this one. So let's put my tape back on. Make sure your acrylic color is dry. Don't put it on a wet Again, with my little bit of black acrylic color, like this. And now completely boring, but the moment of truth comes. Let's see. Ooh, that's already looking interesting. this effect and here's the result of my 3d cubes I love this effect it looks so 3d like squares and the amazing thing is that you can do this on absolutely any old pores which you don't like you can turn it into amazing piece of 3d art well i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did it please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel or you can also join my facebook group which is called create with me and show me your beautiful art thank you very much for watching and thank you so much for your support it's crucial for me and i'm very grateful for any kind of donations because it makes me wanna keep doing this and showing you amazing ideas and amazing tips how to improve your acrylic pores thank you again and see you soon bye